Welcome to part 3 of Let's Play Black Dawn. In this video I'll be doing the third level. Skip the cutscenes. Load the game. and then scramble <clears throat> okay the third level is called operation ice storm let's go and it's located in antarctica which is a bit bizarre there's a war zone in antarctica Two days ago, a terrorist group seized control of Geno-1, a top-secret weapons research base located at McMurdo Sound, Antarctica. Geno-1 conducts extremely sensitive genetic experiments and has produced several prototype weapons. This new technology is now under terrorist control. Your first objective is to insert Navy SEAL Team 6. Stay low and hug the deck. Picked up the uh, picked up the gold missiles. Uh, that means um, until I run out of them, I think, or until my uh, the number of missiles I have um, gets too low, I shoot four missiles at once, uh, which is actually um, it's more powerful, but it, it does waste them, um, unfortunately. But there's nothing. I don't think there's anything I can do to change back, so I'll just have to put up with it. Don't want that. Way to go. Okay, let's go and put those um, SEAL teams down. There's something shooting at me. Ooh. Want that. Want that as well. Nice, go! 
Okay, I'm gonna put the seals down now. <laughs> Where you see the flag down there, that's where we need to put the seals. Nice need to clear this out a bit first though. Don't want those uh, Navy seals dying, do we? Okay, let's go. Uh, you can kill them. Objective complete. Okay, SEAL Team 6 is in. They'll be placing timed explosive charges at each genetics lab. Your job is to create a diversion. Fly west to the transportation area and destroy all snowcat transports. Create as much havoc as possible. Looks like they're just running on the spot. Well, uh, maybe that's what uh, the elite military units do. They just sort of run on the spot like that. I don't know. Um, do you die? Thank you. Is that napalm? Kill that. Incoming missile. Is that a solar panel? Was that a wingman? Excellent. Wingman 
that? What am I doing? Oh, that's what I'm after. I think we have to pick these up or something. If memory serves me correctly. We have to go down and pick some things up, like these little cameras or something like that. Yeah, yeah, there they are. Just take care of that. Good arm, that's what I need. Need the fuel first, that's it. There's the armor, excellent. You can die, good. Oh good, missiles. <coughs> Yeah, they count as the huts in this mission, those little solar panels, I think. They don't really do anything. Armour. Missiles, good. Things. Now oh, I've killed everything. Alright, where's the first one? There's one. Let's go and nab that. Very careful not to whack into the building here. It's very easily done, I assure you. Take off a huge chunk of health. There's another one. So how we can pick them up just by flying over them, I don't know. There's one. Two over here somewhere. There's one. Wingman still doing okay, that's good. Slow down. Go at altitude, that's it, go. Let's 
one more around here. There it is. I'm just looking at the map on the bottom right. Uh, that, uh, has flashing things. We have just received a sit rep from SEAL Team Six. They are 500 meters due east of the extraction point, but enemy Kiowas are patrolling the area. Destroy the Kiowas so the SEALs can proceed. Okay, but what's a Kiowa? Uh, you talk about it as if I know what it is. No idea what a Kiowa is. I'm sure it's some sort of exploding thing. Or a thing that shoots. Nope, it's a type of helicopter. What? Oh, I shot my wingman. Brilliant. Too easily done. Oh, I'm shooting rockets now. Oh, there's a nuclear bomb. Let's see if I can use that. Let's use this nuclear bomb. Uh, a TAC, what a TAC is as opposed to a normal nuclear bomb, I don't know. Eat that. Boom. Good, all good shield, exactly what I needed. No, well, I shot it and it turned to fuel. There's some there's a shield there on that. That's not as good as the red one, but it'll do. There's one more down here somewhere. There it is. Kill this. Okay, let's, uh, oh, there's something after me. That shield. Cute. Another one, though. Of course. Oh no, I'm shooting napalm. I'm getting out of here. Seal, Can't really get those aeroplanes with those uh, without any missiles. Whoopsie daisy. Blimey, I wish I hadn't done that. Need that armor. This is why I'm not doing it on hard mode. Blimey, blogs. Okay, if I just um, get a couple of seals, I can get the armor bonus. Then I can come back for the rest of them. Are they coming or what? Seal spotted. Go, go, go. There's one.
Okay, that's a load. That's a load of them. I don't know where the extraction point is though. That's a trouble. It doesn't show me until the. Oh, I'll just wait for them all. Let's see the aeroplanes have gone. Was the wrong time to run out of the wrong time to run out of missiles, I'm afraid. Yeah, for those aeroplanes. Oh no. Good. Give me that armor. Where's the other one? Here he, here he comes. He's not moving for some reason. I don't know why. Operation complete. Oh, I don't get the armor and fuel bonus. Oh. Yeah, wrong time to run out of missiles. There, that's uh, a side effect of of having the really good missiles that shoot for. Uh, that shoot four at a time meant I was wasting loads and I, I needed them really for the aeroplanes at the end that's why I kept sort of losing loads of health there's no way as far as I know there's no way to change back to the um, shoot one at a time missiles once you have the four at a time unless, you, unless you're running low then it goes back to the um, shooting one at a time which is too late because by that time I already have I only have a couple left anyway Anyway, it doesn't matter. I, I didn't die. But yeah, that on hard mode is extremely difficult. Alright. Save the game. Uh, there is another very um, similar game for the PlayStation. It wasn't released for the Saturn. It's called Agile Warrior F11X or something. Um, it's made by the same people and it has, the, has the same engine, but it's a lot harder. And I'll tell you why it's a lot harder. In that game, well, in this game, for example, uh, some of the targets only appear uh, after you've completed a certain objective. So, for example, those aeroplanes only appeared um, when I had to get the SEAL team. Um, uh, the howitzers in the first level only appeared once I, you know, once I needed to kill them. Uh, um, so the um, so you're not bombarded with enemies on the screen at the same time, all these enemies at the same time. Um, on the game Agile Warrior, which is an aeroplane game by the way, but it uses the same engine, it's the same it's the same control, same sort of gameplay. Um, but you control a, um, a really good really good uh, jet aircraft thing, uh, like a Harrier or something, one of those military jet aircraft uh, that can hover. Anyway, um, with that game, all the targets are on the uh, um, they're on the screen at once, you know, so you can kill them in any order. The trouble with that is, is that if you go after one enemy, all the other enemies are there as well. So you, you do the objectives all at once, and it makes it a lot harder because um, yeah, there are too many enemies. Um, uh, the pickups are still there, the armor pickups, and, and the fuel pickups are still there, but the, uh, but they don't look the same. They just sort of. Uh, 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 they don't look the same as the pickups on this game, but they look the same as each other on the game. The only the only way to differentiate them is that they say either fuel or armor on them, so it's difficult to know what you're picking up, which makes it a bit harder as well. But yeah, the main difference, main thing that makes it harder that game is that you're um, um is that you're uh, you're fighting all the enemies at once. Uh, they don't appear when, where once the objective starts which makes it a lot harder so you're killing all these guns and helicopters and aeroplanes all at once and there are too many of them and it makes it very very difficult even on easy mode I find that game difficult uh, the plus side of the game though is that it has really good music anyway let's save the game yeah really good music on that game uh, yeah I'm sort of like um, guitar rock sort of thing it's, 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 it's really nice to listen to um, I do play it sometimes when I uh, um, I do play it sometimes when I'm sort of uh, when I want some more of this sort of action. When I want some more Black Dawn, but I've completed Black Dawn too many times. I sort of I play Agile Warrior 
um, thinking, oh yeah, Agile Warrior, because it's the same sort of gameplay, but, but it's just too hard to be enjoyable. It really is. Um, you know, it, it's like uh, uh, um, they ironed out all, all the creases in Agile Warrior and made it into Black Dawn. Black Dawn is the superior game, and uh, it was released for the Saturn as well. Anyway, so that's that. Put my name in, or my initials in, or my uh, YouTube initials, I should say. And that's the third level done. Um, yeah, it's called Agile Warrior F111X, or something like that, or FXXX1. I can never remember, but it's Agile Warrior. Um, there aren't many videos of it. I mean, I probably would do a video of it if, if I had got some practice at it and, and uh, got really good at it. Um, maybe down the line, but it is really, really difficult. But it's, it's a very similar game to Black Dawn. Maybe the same people, uses the same engine, the same sort of gameplay, same controls, but just harder. Anyway, uh, next level is called uh, Operation Desert Fury. I think that's the one in the Middle East, I think. Um, yeah, it is. The, the crosshairs on the Middle East. Uh, or Near East, really. Um, anyway, yeah, so that will be the fourth video. Thank you very much for watching. Um, that was the third level. Um, I hope you can watch the fourth video. Um, goodbye.